Hi everybody, um, back for another um, painting diary and uh, I did this beast. The main thing about this one is I was trying to uh, uh, copy the style of the um, city artist Paul Kenton who's in uh, the National uh, Galleries called uh, like White Wall um, and Castle. Um, and so he's, you know, he's well known and uh, he's got this style which is very much like you, you lather on the paint and you put it on very thickly and it um, appears to be mostly done with a palette knife as well. So this whole piece was done with a palette knife in order to try and uh, copy those, you know, the, the swooshes of paint and the, the dabs and that thick texture that you can get. Um, so... One of the, um, what was it, that the, the attributes of the style is that uh, the paint is applied very thickly. Uh, you use a palette knife. Um, it's very simplified and the colours are exaggerated. So, uh, and also there tends to be a lot of, um, I'd say, contrast in the pieces as well. Um, Especially with like the use of this black, he uses like black, see for the tree, but just throw in black on the tree for like the outline of the tree, and it's here as well, and obviously within here, the black accentuates the lines, um, so it's another another feature of his style. Um, so, yeah, I, I did it... Um, I started with a grid, and this is probably not how he does it, but this is just how I did this piece. It's the first time I've tried to emulate his style, and I worked from this corner, and I just built up the layers as I went. So I was completing the painting in in in, in its place rather than doing, let's say, the layers. <clears throat> and one of the lessons for myself for next time. And, you know, for you, if you're uh, doing something similar, want to do something similar, is I would do your grid and then I would block in where the things are. So, you know, block in the sky, block in Parliament, block in the bridge and this line going down here, block it in. Block it in with like a, a single flat colour and different colours so you can distinguish the different elements of the composition. So like you know, make all of this purple, make Parliament brown, make the sky, you know, pink, red, whatever. So it's just separate. And then once you've blocked it in, you've got your proportions ready. So you've used your grid for your proportions and then you're ready to crack on with the painting. Because the method that I did where I layered it up, it was, it was good and it, and it worked. It was just, I would say, probably took probably took a lot longer than it would have done if I just blocked in the shapes and then went over those shapes with, you know, the necessary colours. And uh, I, w one tip, I guess, and this is where what Paul Kenton might do, is like once you've blocked in your shape, if I'm using this light orange here, I can then go on to use this light orange over here or the base, or I can use this light orange back again over here. So it's like I can complete the paint, uh, the, the painting, um, uh, mixing a lot fewer, like uh, mixing fewer colours because I'm just using all of that colour and placing it where it is on the whole composition. If you know what I mean. Um, so I didn't do that. So that'd be my sort of recommendation. I like almost the realism, in my in my uh, opinion, of of this aspect of the walkway and the lights. There's something more to me realistic here than what's going on here and uh, and I mean this is in the foreground so it's possibly true that that's why it's rendered I, I copied I copied a picture so um, that's why this wasn't um, I didn't think up the elements of this painting it was a direct copy of a Paul Kenton so I could absorb the style um, and uh, yeah so I like this foreground realism to me, and then I think it, it's, it's very abstract. That's of course the style, I just very much appreciate sort of the, the realism of this foreground. Um, 
yeah, I think it worked well. I think if you're going to do such a paint, uh, such a technique, you, you need to also be um, like confident in your um, in the uh, in the strokes that you do of the paint. So you need to not try and fuss with with uh, any one aspect of it because when you fuss with it, I think that's often when it looks at uh, it can be amateur or it can be distracting. Um, it ruins like the consistency of the style. So yeah, I'd recommend mix your palette, mix your colour, and then a second tip is you just straight up apply the colour and you don't attempt to mix it. What what my aim was is to have no blended colour. So it's only applications of single colour and and that is what helps make each stroke look very deliberate and then it's that deliberacy deliberacy which makes it look um, a lot better in my opinion um, so that would be like another tip um, and I'm gonna hopefully varnish a uh, gloss varnish this painting um, so right now it might appear flatter it might appear flat or dull and hopefully when I've gloss varnished it, because I've only done it once before gloss varnishing, hopefully it's going to make all of those colours pop. So that'll be like more vibrant and more brilliant. So I've got that to do and hopefully it'll be amazing. Um, yeah, so if you're going to copy this style, I would say one, block in all of the shapes. Two, make sure each stroke of the palette knife, use palette knife, make sure each stroke of the palette knife is deliberate and try not to mix the colours. Um, yeah, you know, I want to do a dark blue and I'm going to place it right here and that's it. I'm not going to, and then I'm going to do a light blue and place it right next to it rather than I'm going to, you know, blend it across or anything like that. It's, it's two separate colours being placed down. Um, anyway, I hope you find that somewhat informative or interesting. And um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, in the future, I'll have more art diaries with uh, my future paintings. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you'd like to hear more of in the future. Thank you very much.